All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Direwolf 21.16. I totally didn't forget the name for a second there. Guys, we're back playing on this amazing world. In last episode, we got the amazing angel ring. Oh, it's so great, guys, just sitting here flying around. What the? Oh, how did you get all the way up there, dude? That's crazy. How's it going? Oh, on the Damix of Integration. Wow. I'm not sure I'm supposed to do that. Uh, guys, you ever, like, drink too much water? And then your stomach's like, water. Ugh. That's how I feel right now. I drink, like, so much water. Okay, so don't know if I showed you guys this, but we've upgraded these guys to the blue tier. Pretty neat. Um, we have that building over that way. You see the, the tall one? That's going to be the pneumatic craft building after we get a little bit more progress. I need to do a little bit more research, if I'm being honest. I haven't done it yet. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, over here, we're going to start probably our Batania base on a live stream that we'll be doing here pretty soon. But as the title of the video suggests, today we're going to be focusing on Batania up here. We're going to be doing a little bit, and then we're eventually going to move it over to the new base. Um, or not new Well, technically it is a new base for Batania. So, Batania, we have a little bit of experience with this, but not a whole lot. Uh, we need to look kind of in here. We need the runic altar. We have this guy already. Um, let's see here. Petal Apothecary, already have it. Uh, we did just update this to the latest patch, so it's probably what's going on. Runic altar, I think we should go ahead and try to make this first. Uh, now, we do have a bunch of ender pearls that we can use, but... Uh, the runic altar is good for creating the little doohickeys. These guys, the doohickeys of the runes. So we're going to be focusing kind of on the runes today, and then we're going to try to get into the terra steel armor. Now, the terra steel armor is kind of expensive. I'd really like to start with a chest piece, but we need the rune of summer, which requires rune of air and rune of earth. It requires quite a bit of things to get going, but of course, we need the runic altar. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Ooh, we can use an ender pearl or a diamond. Okay, so this guy just goes like this. And then like a that. Perfect. All right. Runic altar has been created. We'll put him here. Look, that's pretty neat. Anywho, runic altar has been made. All right, so the next step to making terra steel, which is what we need here, we need a bunch of these runes here. Rune of water, earth, fire, air, and mana. So basically, this terra steel, oh, terra strial agglomation plate is the avatar. All right, so we need some mana powder, which is just the, that. All right, some dye, okay. Uh, mana steel, so we're going to need some iron. Going to need some... Another brick. We got that. All right, gunpowder, some warts. All right, that should be everything for the rune of fire. Now the rune of earth requires that and some shrooms. Okay, so need to turn the mana pearls, iron nuggets, green dye. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna need some living rock though, and our wand. Where you be? There you is. Perfect. One more. Perfect. Okay, so let's see here. Rune of Fire. Nether Wart, Gunpowder, and Nether Brick. So we're going to go one of you, one of you, just to get you out of the way. Click, click. Nether Brick, Gunpowder, and the Warts. Oh, we gotta make that link. Pfft, we gotta link that to a mana pool. Tablet. So you just sneak right click here to go from mana pool to tablet. And as you can see, it is slowly draining, which is awesome because it means we can move our mana. If we were to just break up the mana pool, it would lose all the mana and we'd be set. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make three batches here of the living stuff, and then that way we won't need any more in the future. All right, so we got the 
living rock made up. We have a whole bunch of it made up two stacks. So we can go ahead like this. We can come over here like this. And then we can go like this. Throw it in. Yes. You can see it filling up. Cowabunga. All right. I believe it's done. Oh, do we need a... Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Do we need a mana spreader? I think we might. Um. All right, do we have enough? We do, perfect. We can go ahead and just put one up here. Always freaking forget. All right. Hey, that's working. So all we gotta do is I think chuck one here. Yes. Oh, yes. L pop goes the weasel. Okay. So now we do Rune of Earth. So we require a Boo Hickey, a Shoe Dicky, a Boo Dicky. There you go. I'm making up random words. I'm sorry. Um, and then the we're going to use Polish Diorite here. Boop. And then we're going to use the Block of Coal and the Shrooms. Don't eat these guys. They're not the good shrooms. All right. That is charging up. All right, so all we got to do now is go pink, bonk. Go, oh, missed it. We got earth. All right, we're going to do water. Now nah, we're going to do air. Um, so... All right, there we go. And we have all of them. Perfect. So now the terrestrial nation and shebang. No cool quest for that. That stinks, okay. All right, so we're gonna put this guy just right here and then we need to look into, so we need some lapis lazuli blocks and some living rock or living stone, living rock. All right, so we're gonna pick this guy back up here real quick. All right. Perfect, okay, so now this structure is good to go. Um, yep, so that's pointed over there. I'm gonna go take some more mana from our other section. The tablet, you know, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to make up a second one of these. All right, so I took a, a whole bunch of mana, put it into the mana pool here. As you can see, we got more actually reactivated the one over at our home base. And we're gonna try to make up our first Terra Steel here. Uh, so all we need is a mana pearl, mana diamond, and mana steel ingot. So let's go ahead and do that. Mana pearl. All right, mana steel ingot. Do I have a mana diamond? I do not. So we'll have to go ahead and make one, which is fine. We have more than enough. Uh, it's recommended that you have over halfway for the mana pool here. Now ours is probably at about 80%, so I believe we're okay, even if we do a diamond as well. All right, so all we gotta do here is throw these guys down. So. Yep, okay, it's starting to work. Let's see, is it draining here? There is a chance it isn't fast enough. Um, I don't know why I'm here. All right, we have a second mana spreader here. I guess we're just gonna have to wait here. I, I don't think I can get that second one working unless I get another mana pool. And I really don't wanna have to worry about that right now. But we might need to, unfortunately. 
All right, so second mana pool here. We're going to go ahead, take a little bit of this guy. Once it gets to about a little less than, probably like where that big bulk part of the arrow is, I'm going to grab it. Okay. And then we're going to throw it in here. Yep, there we go. Spitting mana at it. Okay, so that's good to go. All right, now I'm just going to kind of sit here, and we're going to let this kind of craft up. I guess we have two of these guys pointed at it, so hopefully it happens before the items despawn. All right, so it looks like we need to make some sparks from Botania here. Uh, these guys to go ahead and accelerate the process for us. Uh, so, wow, I didn't think that would. Okay, so how did these guys work? Oop. Um, okay, so I guess we put a spark here. And we remove these guys and put a spark here. Ooh. Yeah, these are all connected. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and, and try it one more time here. Looks like these are a better way of moving mana anyway. So not that big of a loss. You know, we're, we're learning something. We didn't just waste a bunch of time. <laughs> I just threw a mana stealing good in there. Okay. Oh, wow, that is draining quick. <laughs> um, I hope we have enough mana for it. We're about to waste all of this. <gasps> Guys, we did it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We did it. We freaking did it. We freaking did it. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Look at that. It's Terra Steel. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. It's our first block of Terra Steel. That was quick. Okay, so we definitely need to upgrade our mana production. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Um, so I can't place one here, so we do have to use the mana spreader. But this is the way to go. Now we did waste quite a bit of mana doing that. Oh my gosh, these are awesome. Okay, so we made our first Terra Steel ingot. Very, very cool. Where do we put it? We put it here. Ooh, look at it. It's green. Okay, so we need to set up more of our process. I'll show you guys. All right, we need to set up quite a few more of these at the um, th at the new base. Now, oh, Ender, Ender Flame, I'm sorry. Um, so the way it works is... This is placed here on that plate. It's got a torch underneath it, a block that triggers this. Um, the blaze rod is put here when it's used up by one of the endo flames. It allows the pressure plate to unpress, which allows this thing to fire, which in turn ejects out a uh, blaze rod for it to use. So it's an automatic system here. Now we can automate this pretty easily. So that's what we're going to be doing in the new, uh, in that new base area. But we're going to set up a few. Um, just so we can start generating a bunch of mana. Uh, but is there a better mana pool available? There is. Okay. Um, that doesn't seem to be better. Shimmer Rock. Everlasting. Pool. Creative mana pool. Okay, so how do we make you? Bifrost block. I have no idea how to do that. Rod of Bifrost. Alf block. Oh, wow, we're getting into the that guy. Okay. Um, yeah, so our biggest thing here is waiting for mana to generate. So if we can set up quite a few of these, I think it'll speed this along. But we'd need a bunch of endo flames. So I need to go back to the base and see what kind of uh, stuff we have here. 
Uh, we need to see if we're able to create the endo flames, which is the the brown, the red, and the light gray. And I think we just used up a bunch of red, but there is a bunch over by our new base. All right, guys, check check this out. So we're gonna go ahead and automate the um, the production of these flowers, and it's really cool because we need, we can use okay, we can use these uh, guys. Dang it. <laughs> All right, we can use these guys to actually grow more flowers. Now, these will take a while to grow, but as you can see, it, it, it takes a little over a minute, and it'll grow another one for us. So we just let this go, and we can have unlimited endo flames, which means unlimited mana, and look at all of the coal we have. We can use this mini coal so that it's really efficient. It doesn't waste any any of the mini coal whatsoever we have 1.6 million of them guys we don't need to worry about it it's gonna be great so i'm so excited oh my gosh so we need to make a petal apothecary like so all right and then do i have a sink in here already now let's go ahead and make another one all right we got a sink here perfect um Gonna grab some buckets here. Uh, oh, you know what we actually can do? I believe we can use the pipe from Mechanism. We're gonna try it out up here. And right here, we're gonna place this guy here, the mechanical pipe. Uh, let's set this to extract. Does this work? Does it need to be in a different spot, maybe? Okay, so no like true automation with that part. That's a bit of a bummer. There might be another way. If you guys know a way to automatically put water into the Petal Apothecary, please do let me know. That would be very, very helpful. But for now, we need a bunch of seeds. Hey, check it out. Look at that. We're growing stuff. All right, so I'm going to be here for a while just doing this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set these guys up kind of corresponding to where these guys are. So we're just going to go ahead and go like this. Yes, just like so. And I even think that we're going to place them pretty much in the same spot here. Uh, so the pressure plates are going to be on the back. This is where they're going to go. And the endo flames will be around it. Um, so we need to break this block on each. This is not a permanent spot for these, I, I promise. Uh, we will be moving these guys pretty shortly here to the new base. But again, we need to go ahead and build that base. So until, or not really the base, but to the new building. So until we build that building, it's going to have to build the buildings to build for the buildings. You know what I mean? All right, so these are all placed here. Um, I'm just simply going to put the hopper and drawers. <laughs> really missed that one. I'm uh, just going to place them like so. All right, so we're going to put the uh, micro block kind of looking peeps in there. And then we're just going to have it like this. All right, perfect. So each of these have six. Um, they're all going to be pulling from this area, hopefully. Uh, let me verify the settings of the other one. Okay, yep, so all these need is just a uh, flux point behind them, which isn't a big deal. I'm going to move these to the inside so that we still have a way to walk here. Uh, and Plus, I can get them looking symmetrical. Okay, so now each of these should have power. Now all we need to go ahead and do is drop my phone on my keyboard. 
slid off my desk. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. We need two more mana spreaders. So where's my wood at? I need to go make some wood with the pure daisies. And then we also need to start uh, collecting a bunch of this stuff. So we can start putting them over here. All right, so we just need to bind these up to this guy. All right, so this one's technically working. I need to go ahead and make two more of them. Um, but yeah, this one is using them up. You know what, we're going to go ahead and switch these over to actual coal, because um, these are burning way too quick. Okay, so I'm going to switch these over to coal, going to go ahead and get a ton of um, of the wood made, the living wood, and so we're going to go ahead and take it out of here too. Oh, it's in the hopper, isn't it? Yeah. All right, that should start doing the big guys, which burn a little bit longer, which it won't be creating this, but it's going to do it for a second. Okay. So we're going to I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make the wood now. All right, guys. So it has been a little bit of time, and I've got this thing really dialed in. I am freaking loving it. Uh, hindsight being 2020, I wish I would have moved this over maybe two or three blocks this way. Uh, but again, it's temporary. We're going to have Oh my goodness, probably 16 of these running at least at one time. I really like the look of it. There might be better mana production out there, but I'm a fan of these because I like endo flames and all of the noises they make. But uh, yeah, we switched these over to the um, the drawer or the, the big coal here. And this has gone through quite a few. This is where we're at with the mana. About a quarter of the way on each of them. Uh, this is just for our runic altar. I've been using the mana tablets to kind of move power over. That's why these guys are a little bit lower. But uh, yeah, guys, it's working really good. If we check this out here, you should see, yep, that they're all pointed to this guy. Except for you. Where are you going? Okay, so I mean it transports along the side here. So it'll eventually get to here. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. We might end up... You know, it'd probably a better, be a better idea for us to move this over here. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I got those moved over there. We're going to go ahead and, and fix it. Well, we got to fix it now. All right, so everything is symmetrical again. And we're going to go ahead and put the spark back here. Now if we check this, yep, all of these guys are pointed to it now. Amazing. Uh, again, in the future, I'm going to probably bump these out one block. They had our new bait or our new building. And so that way we have one block going on each side here, just making it look better. But yeah, now all of these are connected up to here. Let's go ahead and craft up some more, uh, another Terra Steel ingot. Let's see how many we can get. All right, so this guy over here has got the most mana by far, because this is my first one. So we're going to go ahead, chuck him into here like so. And then we are going to get this farty parted. So bam, bam, bam. Shoot. <laughs> Guys, that was so quick. That was real time. Oh, man. Four of these guys going at once. Amazing. I can't wait for like 16 of these guys going. <laughs> and it's done already. Oh, man. We used up a heck ton of mana. I don't think we could get a third one in. Uh, I do have to wait a little bit of time. But, I mean, that was like maybe... 20 minutes being AFK or kind of doing stuff around here. So there's there's a lot of potential here, and I'm really excited about that. So we have a total of three of these guys now. What can we do with three Terra Steel? We can make our first piece of armor. Ra Rune of Spring. Okay. We're going to be making this. So let's see here. Oh, well, first of all, we need to go ahead and put it on our A button. So we need to make some mana steel chest piece. Perfect. We have our guy. All right. So we have the three mana steel here. We need the living wood. So we need two of these. Now, all we need for this is the rune of summer, which is earth and air. So let's see here. 
We got earth here. We got air here. So we need a melon. Do we have melons? Ooh, we do. All right, so we just need to break this guy open. All right, so we got melons. We'll go ahead and get melons. Auto crafting, or not auto crafting, but auto making. We need some slime boys. Yep, we have slime. Perfect. And we need two sand. All right, let's go up there and make it. All right, you guys in there. All right. Ah, yeah, that's right. I, I kind of broke it when I wasn't supposed to. So we need to kind of switch it up real quick. Use the mana. Switch it over into here. All right, it should be okay. Okay, there we go. So this thing has to be above this guy, unfortunately. It doesn't look like there's any way to get around it. That is perfectly fine, but we are more than likely going to need some more living boys here. Yep. So we'll just need to throw that at it. All right, so it's all made up here. Ooh, we got to keep our runes here. Amazing. I didn't know that would work for all of them. Okay, so now... <gasps> Terra Steel chest plate. Let's look at it. Oh, man, that looks cool. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dudes, look at it. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and craft up the other sets of armor. Um... Or I'm going to get the, the other tear steel. I'm going to be here for a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to wait for all of this to produce, and we'll make the rest of the armor today, guys. Amazing. All right, guys. So we have a total of nine tear steel ingots crafted up here. We uh, have gone AFK. It is currently 1.10 a.m. Don't, uh, don't worry too much about it. But, uh, yeah, these guys have been going to work. Let's take a look here real quick at the amount we have. Ooh, we've burned over 4,000 coal within like an hour and a half. <laughs> so we're using a lot of materials. But uh, let's go ahead and start with the helmet here. We're going to need the Rune of Spring, which is wheat and three saplings. All right. And then I left the wheat. We have the wheat. Okay, so the wheat's been added there. And then we just need water and fire. Okay. All right, so that's being made up there. All right, so we just throw this guy here and then boop it. Perfection. Okay, so we have the Rune of Spring. That's for the helmet. Let's go to the leggings here. We need three leaves and a spider eye. All right. And then we just need fire and air. Perfection. All right, there we go. Toss, click, bam. We have the thing of autumn, whatever it's called. And then for the boots, winter, snow blocks, wool, and a cake. Oh, I think I only have one. Oops. All right, I have the living rock there in the middle. I accidentally clicked it with it. I don't know if we can leave it there, but we're going to try it. So we need earth and water. I forgot earth. All right, earth and water. Okay, I mean, it's allowing us to do it with the 
the living stone there. Maybe you just need to click it or something. Yep, that's all we that's all we needed to do. Perfect. Okay. So that has been taken care of. So now we have the helmet. We have the leggings and we have the shoes. Bam. That is the full armor. Oh. <laughs> that looks so weird. <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but this makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> the face looks so funny. Oh my gosh, I freaking love it. Oh my god, it looks like an idiot though. <laughs> but the armor is cool. We're probably going to put this armor up over on the armor stand. Oh man, that is good. <laughs> that really makes me laugh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> what does the back look like? Um, can we like toss our backpack on the ground real quick? Okay, so with the cape on, looks okay. I'm very spiky. Don't know if I'm a big fan of that. Oh man, that face though. That face though. Anyways, guys, we went ahead and got our Terra Steel armor, even though it looks. <laughs> really funny uh but that's gonna wrap up the episode for today if you guys did enjoy the video please make sure to hit that like button and as always guys don't forget to subscribe but guys one more thing before we go if this video gets 250 likes we will include a world download in the next one so make sure you hit that like button so you can get a world download anyways guys i'll see you all in the next video take care peace out Bye.